I'm going to be on the internet forever, right? And uh, <laughs> you might have a reality be. show, Terry. This is a crazy world we live in here. <laughs> I don't need that. Terry was in remarkably good spirits after losing out on what could have been a three million dollar payday. Was Terry Sanderson at fault? Yes. It was victory and vindication for Gwyneth, who released this statement. I felt that acquiescing to a false claim compromised my integrity, but not her compassion. The world witnessed her stop and speak to Terry right after the jury delivered its verdict. So what did she say? Her exact words, I wish you well. Very kind to her. I said, thank you, dear. I said, thank you, dear. Here is the bandana run where Terry and Gwyneth collided. It can get quick at times. It's not that slow. And this right here is the steepest part you can get going pretty darn quick through here. And I think this is where Terry said it happened. I've never been hit harder in my life, ever, ever, ever. I've never been knocked so flat, hit so hard initially, and just pounded. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. What do you think were the factors going into the decision, Terry? Well, it wasn't the, it shouldn't have been the facts of the accident, because as I said, I brought absolutely the truth to the accident and no reason to wander from that and I still won't and I brought it for that reason because I wanted to see if justice prevails in those situations your lawyer even said she, you know she's a good person she's a good mother and she loves her children she's not lying Terry's a good person he's not a good so somewhere in there it's just at the end of the day along he said she said there was nowhere anyone could go yeah and, and of course you get some assumed credibility from being a, a famous person, you know, you, you, people just take that. Who wants to take on a celebrity? Really, no wonder I hesitated, right? Do you think so she was lying hesitation. In, with, in her version? Because Bob said no. I believe she thinks she has the truth. I believe she thinks that. Um, um, but I know. I, I absolutely know. And I said I would not bring any falsehoods. I'm going to tell the truth, and I did. Closure in the case. Can you have closure now? You. Will you be able to come, go on? It's not going to come this fast. It's just going to take me a while. It took a long time to get here. Thank take you for care. your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. Today, one of the jurors, Samantha Emery, spoke out on GMA. There was in the back of my mind, yes, this woman's an actress. And, you know, I took that into account. But I didn't feel that she had a reason to lie under oath. She's always in the spotlight, so she always has to be honest. The eight-day trial was full of gone viral moments. Well, I lost half a day of skiing. I have newfound appreciation for Ms. Paltrow. If she has to deal with all of this on a daily basis, I can't even imagine. But court watchers I talked to said this attorney for Gwyneth stole closing arguments. That young James um, Egan. Egan. He's an impressive young man. Mr. Sanderson's asking to be compensated for a ski injury that the evidence shows that he himself caused. He really knocked it out of the park. Yeah, he was good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. They call him Clark Kent. Which, oh, oh the yeah, did, yeah, yeah, they do. James, quickly tell us, where are you going right now? I'm going to see my one-year-old son. He had his birthday during the trial, and I haven't seen him. He just learned to walk. So You haven't seen him walk I, yet? I, I have. He's, he, 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 I saw him on Saturday, but that was the one time in those last two weeks. So James, you know they're calling go. you Clark Kent out there. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, got to be a little weird. I've heard that. It's, Is it's, that weird? It's weird, <laughs> yes. He thinks he's above the law. Great job, buddy. Yeah, Great you. job. As for Gwyneth, she says... I am pleased with the outcome, and I appreciate all of the hard work of Judge Holmberg and the jury, and thank them for their thoughtfulness in handling this case.